am Rafa Benita. Uh, you are watching the Red Man TV. Hello and welcome to the Red Men TV. I'm Chris Page and it's Tuesday the 26th of January 2016 with an update on um, Alex Teixeira. Um, he's been dominating these shows of late, um, mainly because people are excited about it. Liverpool are in talks with him. It's concrete, which is much more than everything else that's been linked with Liverpool at the moment. So we'll start off with the Teixeira update. Um, Things have moved on slightly since yesterday, but not in a good way for Liverpool and Liverpool's fans. Uh, and not for Alex Teixeira, of course, as well, because he apparently yesterday we, we said that he, he wanted a move to Liverpool. But Sky are now reporting that Liverpool and Shakhtar Donetsk remain some way off uh, from agreeing a fee, although a deal has been agreed in principle with the player himself. Um, there's It's thought to be the case that Basically, Liverpool have agreed the deal with, with Alex Teixeira and they want him to put a little bit of pressure onto the U Ukrainian side to maybe force through the move. And if that sounds like tapping up to you, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I don't know. It's a, it's a grey area, isn't it? We're allowed to talk to the player, but is it right? Are you asked? Not if we get our man. I think that one thing that we've seen under the American owners, um, John W. Henry and the rest of the team there is that they will not haggle for for players if they if they do not want him. I think it's it seems to me like they set a target that they're going to get the player for, and they will not budge on it. Think of Alberto Moreno; uh, that deal dragged on all summer long, isn't it? So it could be a deal that drags on late until until deadline day itself next Monday. Uh, hopefully, it isn't. Hopefully, the player has a word with the Ukrainian. Team Shakhtar Donetsk and then maybe forces through a move and it'd be great to see him in time for the game with Leicester, wouldn't it, next Tuesday. I think that could bring a real lift to Liverpool's fans and the team because it's been an up and down season, we can't deny that at the moment. So there you go, that's the LFT share update. A um, little bit of news uh, on Jerome Sinclair next. The Irish Independent have said that Watford have found maybe a loophole uh, in the tribunal system for young players. So the 19-year-old... Um, is under contract with Liverpool until the end of the season. Now, what the Irish Independence is saying, and I don't know whether this has got a, a shred of truth to it, to be honest, but it sounds so fucking balmy that it could be true. What they're saying is Watford owners also own, let me check, Granada and Udinese. Now, the rule apparently for for like these under-21 players and stuff when it regards to tribunal fee is that um, a team in England... If they sign Jerome Sinclair at the end of his contract because Liverpool have trained him and blah, blah, there could be a tribunal fee. It could be about £5 million. If it's a team from Europe, Liverpool don't get a tribunal fee set. So what they're saying is either Granada or Udinese could sign him for free, right? And then loan him back to Watford for free, basically. So essentially picking up Jerome Sinclair for peanuts. Um, I it sounds crazy, it sounds like it could be true, it sounds like a really good loophole to be honest, it sounds like we need a little team in Europe to do that with ourselves because, you know, Danny Ings cost us a lot of money from them frigging tribunals, didn't he? So if we if we had a little team, I don't know, over in the Ukraine or something, we could have probably done that, it would have been nice. Um, yeah, so Liverpool could miss out on £5 million for Jerome Sinclair. Wouldn't be the first time A.D. Wood screwed us over, really, would it? So that doesn't really surprise me. A.D. Wood, a bit of a cunt. And I'll throw the word in allegedly, even though I, I don't mean it straight down the lens. He's a cunt. I'm not bothered. Um, these are the views of Chris Pajak and not those of Redmen TV, of course. Um, <laughs> moving on. A um, little bit of news about Jordan Henderson and what he's come out and said about Klopp's training methods. Essentially, he's rubbished reports that all these injuries are due to Klopp's training methods. He's come out and backed the manager, rightfully so, because he's boss and he's crazy and he smiles. He's got glasses. We like people with glasses. Uh, and black frames. There's his second pair. He's got black frames. Um, apparently, he said, I don't buy that at all, to be honest. Uh, we play, recover, play, recover. We're doing a lot of work. Uh, tactically, um, it's mentally taxing, but it's not as physically taxing as reports have been made out. So that's good to see as well. And then obviously Klopp's done a little bit back to Jordan Henderson today as well and said he's a great captain and blah, blah, blah. So there's some mutual back scratching and some fucking skiing going on there, which we like to see at Liverpool Football Club between the manager and the captain. And then finally, uh, another rumour, this time brought to you by The Guardian. Uh, apparently Liverpool, Manchester United and West Ham United are interested in France youth international forward. George Kevin Kudu. 
So there you go. Uh, Marseille winger uh, apparently was watched by Liverpool, Man United and West Ham scouts against Lyon on Sunday. Uh, so far this season, the 20-year-old has scored ooh, nine goals in 23 games. Um, and apparently, uh, well, no, this is a stat. This is a fact, actually. He has been involved or contributed to more goals uh, than anyone under the age of 21 in Europe's top five leagues this summer, uh, this this season so far. So it's a good, interesting thing. I mean, the one thing that, I don't know, as a Liverpool fan, um, I'm not too happy about is that it's Man United and West Ham United. I mean, it shows how far we've sort of fallen, really, doesn't it? I mean, the guy's supposed to be 20 million quid. A um, lot of money for a player. And if he's good, brilliant, you know, I don't know anything about him. Literally nothing. Never seen the guy play at all. So I'm talking from my own sort of riddled brain here. Um, but, you know, we used to get linked with players who City and Chelsea and all them wanted. And they're like, you know, they're at the top of the league a lot of the time. I know Chelsea have fallen a little bit far this season and stuff. But um, the fact that it's West Ham United. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to completely change my mind. West Ham United signed Pae from fucking Marseille, didn't they? Or definitely the France League. And look at that bargain. So, you know what? We've got West Ham United scouts on the case. What a fucking signing this guy could be. Um Anyway, thank you for joining me on the Transfer Daily Show. Don't forget to check out the show tomorrow, where hopefully there'll be a load more news to bring you. If not, it'll just be me, me sat here twiddling my thumbs, just like this. So tune in tomorrow, because you can see more of this. Why wouldn't you? Don't forget to like the video. Drop us a like on the video, please. Subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And actually, as well, um, we'll be hosting and presenting uh, a completely live Probably 12 hour show on deadline day for our good mates over at Ball Street. Um, Paul will be presenting it. It's going to be absolutely a fucking deadline day spectacular. Bigger and grander and bosser and just more sweet, if we can use those type of words, than anything we've done before on deadline day. So basically, we used a hashtag a few years ago, fuck Jim White. We're not going to go right in his face this time. But basically, what we're saying is... Um, Come and join us. It's going to be absolutely epic. We've got all the fan channels together for this. We've It's taken us a lot of time to try and get everybody together, get this place organised, and we'll be... You know, there'll be just a shit ton of prizes to give away on the day. There'll be all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, FIFA, Pro Evo, interviews with everybody, uh, breaking news, of course, via Sky, because that's how we get our news. Um... And loads and loads of other stuff. So, you know what? January deadline day can be a little bit of a Scottish loving towards the end. Well, this time it's going to be a Scouse loving because we're going to fucking rip it up. And, of course, don't forget to subscribe to the Ball Street channel. Um, they're actually giving a competition away this week for a Premier League shirt. So check out the video um, where you've got to pick your top three English Premier League players right now. Uh, there's a chance to win. If you leave your top three players and you leave Red Men TV next to it, you could win a Premier League shirt of your choice. That competition, I believe, will be coming out later today or tomorrow. So do check that out. Subscribe. You can win a shit prick, a shit prick ton of stuff. Anyway, Chris Pajak for the Red Men TV, signing off. Hello, this is Chris from Red Men TV. I'm here to give you a transfer update on Alex Teixeira from Shakhtar Donetsk. Uh, obviously, the forward scored 16, sorry, 22 goals in 16 matches so far this season. 